The rescue plan for Greece is unraveling. The prime minister is trying his best to keep it all together. Germany, though, now says that Greece should turn to the IMF versus the EU if it needs aid. Joining us now to discuss the latest developments is Karsten Przezetsky. He is a senior economist at ING Group in Brussels. He used to work as an economist at the EU. Karsten, so glad you could join us this morning. Thanks very much. D does it matter where Greece gets help if it needs it? In the end, for, for Greece, it doesn't matter, but uh, for, for Europe, it, it will matter, because um, this is, for, for Europe, it's a reputation issue, and uh, they actually, they would always like to show that the Eurozone can solve its own problems. Uh, Karsten, Eric here, it, you know, we see the headlines this morning, and it really feels as though Germany is breaking with the solidarity of the EU that we saw in the previous few days. Is Germany really throwing the EU and the Euro maybe under the bus here? Oh, no. I think, of course, the, the, for, for Germany, for the German government, it, it is very, very tricky right now because actually they would have liked a solution which doesn't cost the German taxpayer a single euro. Uh, but of course, any EU solo, a solution will cost German taxpayers. So this is why I guess they are now a little bit putting forward again the, this IMF solution as a possibility. Um, because in the end, just economically speaking, this would be the best solution because it doesn't cost Germany and takes payers' money. Karsten, let's back up a minute. I mean, where does the money that's in the IMF's pot come from? Of course, it comes by, let's say, from all members of the of the IMF, which have, let's say, funded the fund. Therefore, of course, indirectly, it will also partly come from from uh, from German taxpayers. But of course, it's a totally different story than um, than if if there were now some some loans coming from Germany to Greece. In other words, you know, it's indirect versus direct. Yes. Uh, Karsten, we've seen the impact on the euro this morning, weakening in the, in the wake of these developments. Uh, from the euro standpoint, does it matter where Greece gets the money? Is it better for the euro if the EU bails out Greece, or is it better for the euro if the IMF bails out Greece? No, I, I think for the for, for the euro exchange rate, probably what we see, uh, the best thing is to come out with a, with a clear-cut solution. Um, and, and that, that, that all the discussions and, and speculations come to an end. And this will probably last until next week when we have the European Council here in Brussels. But I think here, let's say, uh, clarity is, is, is the best thing for, for the euro. And there it doesn't matter where the money is coming from. Uh, Karsten, really quickly here, I mean, we haven't actually asked you, on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely is it that Greece announces it needs help? I mean, we've seen estimations first weekend in April. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely is that to happen? I would give a go for a 7. All right, so that's a pretty high probability, and you even think the timing is a 7 out of 10 as well, that we're likely to hear from them pretty soon? I really think that, that uh, the, uh, the, the European Council, when, the, when the, the government leaders meet here next week in Brussels, they have to come up with a, with a kind of announcement, just really to, to give clarity to, uh, to Greece and also to financial markets. Karsten, we thank you so much for the time. Karsten Brzezetsky, economist there at the ING Group in Brussels.